guys, it's Sarah from All Grown Best Ladies. So follow me on Twitter, All Queen Sarah. Subscribe to All Grown Best Ladies if you haven't yet. And let's crack on with today's video. So today we're gonna talk about one of the coins that has got pretty a bright future of being Litecoin. And it's understandable that the cryptocurrency world is currently witnessing some ups and downs. I bought some cryptos a couple of weeks ago. Um, when I thought I bought the dip, but then the dip dipped, and now I'm here. But I believe in all the investments I made, there's no professional financial advice, and Litecoin at the moment is one of those cryptos that's also down. It is clear that the cryptocurrency has, has been kicked out of its fifth position, but there are many reasons why Litecoin will definitely return and will be one of the best cryptos in 2018, and that's what we're going to talk about today. So one of the reasons is that Litecoin is fully decentralized. Every cryptocurrency claims decentralization, but the case with Litecoin is it's a fact and it's not actually a claim. The founder of the cryptocurrency, Charlie Lee, which is an absolutely amazing guy, go and follow him on Twitter. He honestly seems like the nicest guy ever, especially how I've seen how open he was to everyone to talk about our consensus and stuff. So he's a great guy. And basically the case with Charlie Lee and Litecoin is that he has completely sold off his stake in the coin. He neither holds any of it or controls the potential of the digital currency. The decision according basically to Lee going by his statement on Reddit, which I read a long time ago, was meant to remove any perception of conflict of interest. So while selling his stake remains a major topic of discourse in recent time, observers who weigh in on the issue affirm that is one of the major things that may lack on fully decentralized. Unlike some other coins whose founders control what is sold out and what becomes of their coins, Litecoin does not have such. Number two will be Litecoin's debit card. So one very important thing about Litecoin is the newly produced debit card courtesy of Wirex. The debit card will give you this opportunity to use Litecoin buying and selling online and maybe offline as well someday. Wirex in a tweet that was retweeted by Charlie Lee uh, made this known saying that Litecoin wallets have landed verified users around. They can now buy, trade, spend Litecoin. A full products, features, benefits, and how to get your hands on one of them. Warwick's also said that on their website, the potential of Litecoin over Bitcoin by saying that it's faster than Bitcoin, has lower blockchain fees, and may become a global payment option available on dozens of big brand websites in upcoming months. It'd be absolutely brilliant. Do you guys think it's actually possible? Uh, the Litecoin will, will become the payment method, the payment crypto. If not Litecoin, then what in your opinion will be one of them? Number three will be one of the recent announcements and I'll be the Gemini. So Ge Gemini has a large user base in 48 US states, Washington DC, Puerto Rico, Canada, Hong Kong, Singapore, South Korea, and UK as well. In one of the recent announcements, Gemini will be adding Zcash, which is one of the reasons why it keeps pumping up at the price. Well, it was. And we know how much good can the addition to another exchange do good for a cryptos, as we can see what's currently going on. Just Zcash is, for example, Litecoin is bouncing back right now, and I've got my little heart for Litecoin, as also one of the first five I would say cryptos I invested in and it's just this little sentiment I've got it's also a great tech and a great crypto great team great community absolutely enormous community behind Litecoin and um, so one of the last things that I'm gonna say is something that's not exactly official in a way um, it's more of a, like a possibility that Litecoin and token pay may be working together to buy stakes in the German market. So basically, if this sort of agreement would actually go on and would be a buying a stake, Litecoin will definitely receive a major boost that it definitely deserves. So before we finish, let's have a look on how Litecoin is doing. So yes, Litecoin is up um, less than a percent in the last 24 hours, which makes me really happy because I enjoy when the coin I'm talking about is in green. So it's currently trading on $122. It's number six behind EOS, behind EOS with a four billion market cap difference between them two. And guys, let me know about your reasons if you think if Icon's going to be the number one crypto in 2018, the biggest gainer, what will be the biggest gainer in your opinion? 
and another reason, maybe the fifth reason, your own reason, why Litecoin is going to degrade in 2018. I'll catch you guys later. Bye!